Hey everyone, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. Thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I appreciate it. This is going to be your uh, weekend reading, April 29th through May 1st. Can't I can't believe we're into May already. Um, just unbelievable how fast time's going, at least for me. Um, all right, let's get right into it. So for the upcoming weekend, this could resonate at other times, and it's for anyone who's guided spirit and angels anyone for the highest good what do we need to know about this reading it's for the upcoming weekend wow nice the polar bear protection card came out all right what else what do we need to know here wow and the mountain and look at how the bear is getting ready to climb the mountain that's what it looks like like i'll protect you i'll climb a mountain for you Wow, so nice. Um, the mountain's difficult. It, it's something that's been a barrier or a block. It could be in a marriage. It could be in a partnership. So any kind of partnership, really. It says marriage, but it's any kind of union that you're bound to another person. Um, tell me about... What else do we need? What is the most important thing we need to know about the upcoming weekend? What is the most important thing? concern okay give me another one on the most important thing we need to know about the upcoming weekend what is the most important thing we have concern and a letter okay so a message of concern most likely all right what else do we need to know okay what else do we need to know whoa okay so we have the um coffin we have the concern and the message that I got for the center of the reading, which is the focal point of your reading. We got the two doors, which uh, indicates some kind of a choice. All right, what else do we need to know here? I don't know if I showed you guys the mountain, but it's just a, a mountain. It's a mountain. All right, what else do we need to know here for anyone who's gonna be guided to see this weekend reading? Park, the, the couple, another indication of commitment. All right, what else? And the fish. Can I have one on the park? Okay, so we have the man and we have the rose and we have the park. Wow, this is so interesting. And this uh, beautiful love card and the fish. Okay, so right away, I feel like you could meet someone at a public place or you could be going out somewhere um, with someone. So you might not, you might already know them is what I'm saying. So, but this shows me something about, um, okay, wow, all right. All right, so at the bottom of your deck, you have the lovers, you have the house, and you have the star. This is really nice energy at the bottom of your deck. So something you really want. And the house and the lovers. So, okay, so here we go. What I see here is um, definitely something to do with partnership. Definitely uh, something about there is some concern about some kind of an ending and a choice that's being made. For some of you, well, let's get right into it. I, jo I don't want to speculate on this one because this reading is back and forth and all over the place. Normally, I can look at these cards and know what's happening. But I have to say, this reading has a little bit of everything in it. So let's see what we can find out. There is something definitely about commitment and partnership going on in this reading for sure let's find out what we need because you've got the lovers the marriage and the love card and then you've got the man and the rose and the public uh park so um you well i don't want to speculate let's get into some clarity here the spirit and angels anyone for the highest good i see like three or four different stories and it could get very confusing so we're going to pull some clarity on this and we're going to get an idea of where this is going for the majority of you that need this message. 
Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good, what do we need to know about this message for anyone who's guided? What are the most important messages for the people who need the messages the most? Weekend reading for the upcoming weekend. This could resonate at other times. It's for anyone who needs it. All right, let's do it. First thing I want to look at is the polar bear protection there. <clears throat> Tell me about the polar bear protection. The high priestess reversed. Wow. Okay, so the high priestess in reverse. I feel like, so you're going to have, um, is there something you're going to find out? Give me the mountain. What about the mountain? Nope, that's too many. Just one or two, the mountain. Whoa, there it goes. We got the hermit came out on its side in reverse. So this hermit is about, um, I feel like information's coming out about something. Five of swords, wow. So somebody really could have been protecting you from something or protecting a house because we got the four of wands reversed here and the star. Now keep in mind, what do we have at the bottom? The lovers, the four of wands, which is the house and the star same exact energy so we have the five of swords and i feel like somebody could have been protecting a house dream house so is there something about um but it's reverse these are reversed here at the bottom so i feel like you're going to get some kind of information about this protection that has to do with your house it, between you and a partner so the lovers both of you okay so there's something about a home now, this could be about family. If it's not about a home and you're going, I don't know what you're talking about, about a house. We could be talking about family, relationship. It's four of wands. Okay, so think of it that way. Um, home, family, relationship. But there's something about this protection. But I'm saying house because they show a house here. But whatever, however that is for you. So some kind of relationship protection, home protection, house protection, family protection, something about this, some kind of information coming out about something that's been difficult. So this pro this protection needed to be put in place, but there's definitely some kind of um, information coming out. Now, if this isn't like physical information coming into you, like in the form of a message or a letter or a text or an email or however, it smoke signals, I don't know, however it comes in, uh, if it's not physical information, it's intuitive information. It is the high priestess and it is the hermit. So keep this in mind. This could be um, intuitive information coming in. So like you could wake up and, and know the answer to something. Or you could be vacuuming the floor and boom, that answer comes. That's messages. That's information coming straight from spirit to you to answer something for you. And give you some kind of protection over a difficult situation you've been going through. I hope this makes sense because this is coming through really strongly strongly for me. Okay, let's look at marriage. What about the marriage here? What do we need to know? The marriage could be any kind of commitment. Wow, six of wands, baby. Look at that. So this commitment, there's, there is a successful commitment here. There's some kind of protection. There's something that's been very difficult and there's some kind of wish that involves home family relationship or your house i hope this all is making sense all right so let's keep going here what do we need to know about the coffin card what about the coffin card what's important here oh come back coffin card what do we need to know coffin card well that's a lot we have the emperor we have the ten of swords and we have the four of cups uh, I feel like right away, so with the Emperor and the Coffin card and the Ten of Swords, I do feel like an elder person. Not, it doesn't have to be elder. This could be um, somebody important to you that's uh, husband, father figure, love, um, boss, something. Like we've ended something with someone who is, I mean, right away, I feel like someone died. I'm going to be honest with you. The Coffin, the Ten of Swords, the... Um, emperor but this could be the death of a relationship the death of something to do with this emperor um, like it's done and um, along comes this offer right so 
this could be after you've ended something that was very heavy, very hard. I mean, so much so that you could have had to go into protection. Um, you could have had to have other people help protect you. Um, whatever this is, it's almost like now there's a new opportunity in front of you. And um, it's like something spirit's handing you. So if you look closely, you know, the, the cup comes from the universe. So it's literally the ace of cups. But look at her. She's busy looking at all this and she's not paying attention to the one that spirit sent. So um, spirit is sending someone a new beginning after a very difficult, heavy loss. Okay, whatever kind of loss it was for you. It could have been your father. It could have been your husband. It could have been your boyfriend. It could have been your your uncle could have been your brother. It was a heavy loss in your life happens. Uh, it, it happens and it's difficult and it's heavy and it's something where you, you know, had to take a step back and, and learn how to live again without this person in your life. That's how heavy this was. This could have been a death. It could have been a breakup. It could have been a divorce, but whatever it is, you have survived it. There's been protection in place for you after dealing with the heavy time where you've had to go within. There's something very successful as far as partnership being handed to you from the universe, but you're not really paying attention because you're still reeling from the Ten Swords and the, the death of this and this Emperor reversed. Okay, I hope this all makes sense. All right, so now we're going into the center of the reading where we have this concern and a letter message of concern for me let me check it out all right so tell me about the message and the concern here what do we need to know well the fool and the two of wands so we have an opportunity to move forward and we have someone here who's not sure which what to, what to do okay so we have the two of wands and somebody here says i'd like to go down one of these uh, paths and they're not sure which path to take. I feel like you're making a decision. Like I, I feel like this is your opportunity to make the decision to take the leap of faith, to go down one of these paths. And it comes in with information. So when I say information, high priestess information, the hermit gets information and there's information coming in. And when we say message of concern, it doesn't have to be negative, right? It sounds negative, but look at the bottom. Eight of Wands, information coming in. There's definitely some kind of information coming in that's going to help you choose which way to go and how to get there. And that's the central point of your entire reading. Getting information that allows you to go down a new path, that allows you to take the path that you want to go down. And that's a choice. Which path will you take? One's probably a little brighter than the other, like these two doors. So is Spirit going to light one of those a little brighter for you and show you which way to go? Tell me about the two doors here. What do we need to know? Upcoming weekend. Tell me about the two doors. Yeah, look at that. It's been a long time coming. The Knight of Pentacles. Now listen, if you've been waiting for finances to come through for you, the Knight of Pentacles brings a pentacle. It's coming. Look at that. Four of Pentacles in the reverse so there it is boom the money are you waiting for the money for the house are you waiting for your dream house are you and your partner waiting for money on a house is there something here that's going to help you choose the door and choose the path and choose where you're going to go and take that leap of faith this is actually really nice so it's the funding's coming it's right here the funding comes for you to choose the direction, the path you want to take, and get on your journey as the fool here. The zero card right at the very beginning. This entire reading is all about this zero card, this new beginning that you're about to take. Everything's been put in place for you. This could be spirit put the protection in place for you. You've been connecting with the divine in, uh, intuitively. Um, and they had you go within and stay within while, you know, it's like the world, like this is like, you know, bombs blowing off outside the window. Um, this is like, you know, things happening and people shooting each other in the streets and spirits like, and you just stay put as the hermit here. We want you to go within, stay where you are. We're intuitively telling you don't move, don't budge. And then you overcome something, okay? Um, it could have been a significant loss. Could have been, you know, this could have been your time of grieving. This could have been your time of, you know, taking a back seat and just, you know, doing this. 
you know, sitting here contemplating but not doing anything. And then Spirit goes, okay, it's time now. We're going to give it to you now. You've already lived through and survived through the protection we've given you, through the times that you've had to go within. And here we are. We're on this. We're releasing what you need, whatever you need, whatever that pinnacle is for you. It might not be money, but we're releasing something to you that allows you to finally go down the path. And you've been thinking about it contemplating on it and now we're going to send you the information or the funding or whatever it is that you need to actually do it and take the leap you have thought about this long time you have been within thinking about it you've stayed put like you were told to do intuitively and here it comes all right now is it the offer or is it an engagement is it an offer of a new and healthy relationship is it um is it something being brought to you? It's like this is almost like magical looking like I would imagine heaven looks like. Is it being brought to you by the person that you that loves you, that's on the other side taking care of you and protecting you? Protection from the other side? Is it this father figure, this husband figure, this brother figure? Is this the person you lost that died, the Ten of Swords and the Death card that is sending this to you? I mean, it's very, I've got goosebumps everywhere. This is such a magical reading. It's just so, um, there's so much um, divine intervention involved in this reading, I feel. Okay, is this person, someone from the other side, sending you something? Is it, there? are they sending you what you've needed, your dream home? Are they sending you what you've needed, uh, a man to love you that'll love you like you do? Are they sending you something amazing? Or is this in the 3D world? Like, um, so I'm getting this strong feeling that this is someone who's passed, but is this you know, after all this loss that the universe wants you to have something. And maybe you went through a butt ugly divorce. You know, it doesn't have to be a, a, a death, but it could be very, uh, for some, for most of you, I feel like this is someone on the other side working to your benefit to send you something amazing. Um, like they are working in heaven because they love you with the rose and there's heaven. And this is what I'm feeling. For others of you, this is someone finally coming into your life that is being sent from the divine that's right for you after an ugly ugly loss uh divorce okay for the others of you all right because this is split in two this reading is split in two for me all right so let's keep going let's look at the um this beautiful swans it's the love card what do we need to know about the swans here Okay, the swans. Wow. Okay, so we've got the three of swords and the strength card and the ace of pentacles reversed. Okay, so what I feel, I feel like this ace of pentacles is on its way to you. It's right here. It's getting released and sent to you by way of the knight of pentacles which means it's coming in very very slowly okay it has to come in at the right timing because it has a lot of this has to do with your healing and your ability to take the leap once it gets here uh, to do the right thing with it whatever it is okay so we don't even know for sure what the pentacle is but it could be financial okay if you've been waiting on something like that but we have the Three of Swords and the Strength card. Whatever painful thing you went through, whether it was a death or a loss or whatever, it has been so hard for you. You have had to pull on your inner strength to get through this. There's deep heartache and pain that you had to experience through all this. I mean, it's the love card. with It's the heart. But the heart's been pierced three times, right? It's taken every bit of strength for you to survive this. And your new beginning is sitting here. It's almost here. Okay, it's right there. It's coming in for you. Wow. Ace of Cups at the bottom as well. So these two are both coming in for you. The Ace of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles. You are going to absolutely love this. This is going to be something you love. It doesn't have to be love, but it's something you're going to love. For some of you, it definitely is love. Um, and it's going to be something very solid when it gets here. It's coming in very slowly. All right, tell me about the fish. What do we need to know about the fish? Now, for men, this could be you offering all this to someone, 
Okay, so keep that in mind. Um, so tell me about the fish. Or this could be another man if you're into men. Okay, so if you're a man, same story as the ladies if you're into men. Okay, so tell me about the fish. What do we need to know? The fish. Okay, and there it is. The world in the reverse. It's almost here. I'm telling you, everything's just almost here. It's coming in slowly because it's the Knight of Pentacles. And with the Knight of Pentacles, everything's methodical and trustworthy, but it takes forever, right? And you know what? When you've suffered something as hard as this, you need it to come in slowly. There's your new life and your new beginning, okay? And look, when I turn it around, look at her. She's like, whew, what a hard cycle that was. And I'm entering into my new cycle, which is going to be way better. Okay, it's just almost here. It's almost here. When you enter this, it's filled with abundance. This is a card of an abundance. And don't forget, the Ace of Pentacles shows a new beginning of abundance. And we already see that whatever this is, is being given to you, is stability. All right, uh, I love it. It's really great reading. What a great reading, you guys. Um, 